Hey guys, it's Reanime, and today I'm gonna do a skincare routine video. I know. Well, today I got Clinique products. Um, I switched all of my pig fat based makeup at Ulta, got credit and everything, and switching all my makeup to vegan and cruelty free makeup so this is all my Clinique stuff oh my gosh I'm not gonna lie to you but all of this works so good but I will be listing all of the items below in the description box but anyway um the first step is I wash my face with water get it a little wet then I use the anyways I'm still gonna <laughs> listen in the description box and it's kind of like a soap I, it's like a cleanser so we put our cleanser it has like this minty feel to it so I rub it in and like I'm massaging my face at the same time it actually feels really good and it activates that pepperminty or minty feel in like maybe 20 seconds and you'll rub it in and you'll start feeling that icy feeling on your face but don't mind this bear it was just like he's doing something with that leaf but yeah anyway um yeah it feels so good to just have a new skincare routine before I would just use like random stuff on my face but I actually got um a consultation by this woman named Melissa at Ulta and she really helped me a lot so shout out to Melissa and yeah I'm just gonna rub everything up stuff in my eyes I was trying to open them but I was like nah <laughs> so you wash it all off don't mind the dog in the background my next door neighbor's dog yeah so just wash it all off oh that feels so good cold water all over your face but yeah I like to um, wipe my hands a bit before I grab the other product and my face as well. And so I'm going to use the blackhead and pore cleanser. And they actually have steps to all the Clinique items so I don't know the steps I'm just following what I feel is best for me. But anyway, I actually start with my nose. So it can take out all the pores in that area and then I just rub it all around just in case I have extra pores all over my face. What's the deal with her but anyway don't mind her um yeah so professional so professional reanime anyway so yeah rub it all in and i like to do it under the chin as well because sometimes i get like <laughs> pimples and you know stuff under there so don't forget under there too not to mention, it feels really good to have that peppermint feel on your face. But yeah, I like to leave it for a little bit and then I'll just wash it right away because it's super hot at times. Just wash that out. It's like hot cold. It's not hot, it just hurts, but it feels good at the same time. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, yeah. So, wash it all off. Sorry if I'm making a mess on the mirror. It's gonna get pretty messy. Yeah. I felt good. So for the next step, I'll just wash my face. 
I mean, not wash my face, but wipe my face. And the next step is the toner. And it's kind of like sea breeze. I feel like it's probably a little bit more mintier. The woman at Ulta told me that it's best that you use items that don't have fragrances for your uh, skin. Well, I don't know about lotion and stuff, but maybe just for your face. Anyway, just go ahead and use that toner. And... Yeah, just put on the cotton swab, not cotton swab, but cotton, and rub it out all over. I like to get under the chin. I also like to do it on my neck as well, because sometimes you get sweaty and you don't, you don't even think about the sweat and it it really cleans off all that nasty stuff at the end of the day so I like to get it all around the neck and yeah that's pretty much it with that and this new routine I really love and I didn't think that I would like Clinique because in the past I swear i my mom would use it all the time and I was like uh, I will never use that and look at me now never say never but the last step is the hydrating jelly and it's not like a lotion I don't really know what it's for exactly but it keeps the skin tight in my experience and keeps the skin soft and I have oily skin so it actually prevents it from getting it too oily but it, it does give a little bit of shine but that's like the natural skin shine and I really love that and I don't really wear makeup anymore like that and I did mention in the previous video that I did switch up to cruelty free makeup and I will post a video about that in the future because I will donate all my past makeup that I've used and unused makeup to a homeless shelter and I will post a video on that and yeah I will do more videos in the future so yeah next step is just let your hair down put some coconut oil in it And night, thank you for watching, peace and love.